Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Supercharger Membership Program Threatens EV Charging Competitors. Elon Musk Promotes Tesla Cybertruck as Next Level Cruiser. Tesla Cybertruck Pre-Production Beta Shows New Interior Features. And, Tesla says, it could have bi-directional charging in two years. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has launched a new membership for charging your non-Tesla vehicle at a reduced rate at Tesla supercharging locations. For the longest time, while EV drivers complained about the charging experiences provided by many charging providers, notably Electrify America, they have been prevented from accessing the market leader, the Tesla supercharging network. As Tesla begins to open its superchargers to non-Teslas through the magic dock, that barrier to competition has been removed, and Tesla has opened a membership to capitalize on it. Memberships from Tesla, Electrify America, and EVgo all operate similarly. By paying a monthly fee, you can access a lower price per kilowatt hours or price per minute, depending on where you live, typically roughly 25% cheaper than the non-membership rate. Coming in at $12.99 per month, the supercharging membership is undoubtedly more expensive than membership offerings from Electrify America and others, at roughly $4 per month. Still, despite the higher cost, many non-Tesla drivers are already calling the charging experience superior. While sadly, non-Tesla vehicles are not immediately recognized by superchargers, which would allow the driver to plug in and walk away, it only requires two other steps. When you arrive at the charger, you identify which stall you are parked at and scan a QR code at the charger, then press start charging. And while this experience is far more clunky than the one offered to Tesla drivers, it still beats out the experience at the vast majority of other chargers. On top of this operational advantage, which is quickly going to be apparent to customers when they use the service, superchargers have proven themselves to be the more dependable option as well. Electrify America chargers have gained the unfortunate reputation for being unreliable and inconsistent, only further incentivizing non-Tesla drivers to choose supercharger locations. It should be noted that currently, Tesla's magic dock is far from widespread or battle-tested, but as the automaker continues to spread this availability, its threat to charging competitors will only become more apparent. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk promotes Tesla Cybertruck as next-level cruiser. There are some things that drivers trying to get away from police cruisers never want to see. The hulking silhouette of the Tesla Cybertruck in their rear-view mirror is probably going to be one of them. Elon Musk believes as much, noting in a recent post that Cybertruck cruisers will be next-level. The use of Teslas as police vehicles is steadily growing, especially as police departments become more accustomed to the advantages of electric vehicles. Last August alone, the Boulder City Police Department said that the department had purchased several Tesla Model Y units. The police department noted that part of what makes the Model Y compelling is its capability to get its issues fixed remotely. In a recent post on Twitter, EV enthusiast Slackonomics shared a short video of a Tesla Model 3 outfitted for police duty. It's difficult to deny that the Model 3 looks pretty good as a police car. With its flashing lights and matte black and white color scheme, the Model 3 Cruiser looked futuristic. But as per a response from Elon Musk, the Cybertruck would be an even better cruiser. Musk noted that Cybertruck cruisers will be next level and that the all-electric pickup truck is designed for Blade Runner. Musk has a good point, as Rick Deckard's decommissioned spinner from Blade Runner greatly resembles the Cybertruck from its angular shape to its large glass panels. There are many reasons why the Cybertruck may be a good vehicle for police departments. Its tough steel exterior means that the all-electric pickup truck could take the necessary bumps and dings that come with the job. Its large frame also means it could be an imposing presence on the road. If Tesla sticks anywhere near the Cybertruck's original pricing, then police departments may very well find themselves with yet another compelling cruiser. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck pre-production beta shows new interior features. 
The Tesla Cybertruck pre-production beta is at Gigafactory, Texas, where admitted patrons are sharing images of the all-electric pickup and its interior. It looks as sharp as ever. While several Cybertruck units have been spotted over the past few months, many of the builds have lacked overall quality or consistency, from sighting to sighting. The most recent pre-production beta build that was at the Investor Day event, just outside the Austin Gigafactory, is the best look at the truck we have yet. More interior photos were also shared by some attendees, who gave some great looks at what appears to be a New York steering wheel design, differing from past designs. The interior looks extremely clean, with sharp edges and a simplistic interior design. It looks like Tesla has also stuck with the recycled paper dash design, which Teslarati first revealed in late 2019, after the vehicle's unveiling event. It also appears, the rear seats will fold up, and Tesla will also have a screen for rear passengers, a feature that the automaker first introduced in the refreshed Model S and Model X units. It appears, Tesla has made several improvements to the vehicle's interior and continued to refine the Cybertruck with the latest features. After all, it's been three and a half years since the Cybertruck was first unveiled to the public, and Tesla has made so many changes to other cars in its lineup since then. A detailed walk around also shows improvements to the overall build quality, compared to past models, which are tough to put in the same realm since past sightings are of Cybertruck units that have likely undergone years of testing and assessment to determine their ability to withstand some of the most treacherous of conditions. Moving to the last update, Tesla says it could have bi-directional charging in two years. Tesla vehicles will be capable of bi-directional charging within the next two years, according to comments from Tesla VP Drew Baglino at Investor Day event. A question was asked during the Q&A portion about whether Tesla would move toward enabling bi-directional charging on its cars, noting the company's historical reluctance to do so. Drew Baglino, senior VP of Powertrain and Energy Engineering, answered the question by noting that the lack of bi-directional charging was not really a conscious decision, but rather not a priority at the time. But, as Tesla has improved its power electronics units, it has found ways to reduce cost, while also bringing bi-directional charging to its vehicles. Baglino went on to say that this could happen within the next two years, as Tesla is currently within a retooling process for their power electronics manufacturing. But immediately after this answer, CEO Elon Musk stepped in to pour a little cold water on the idea, stating, I don't think very many people are going to want to use bi-directional charging unless you have a power wall, because if you unplug your car, your house goes dark, and this is extremely inconvenient. The answer was interesting, because it gives a little insight into what Tesla's thinking has been about bi-directional charging all along. Historically, Tesla has indeed opposed putting bi-directional charging systems on its vehicles. Most manufacturers have as well, only a few cars have bi-directional charging, and it's often limited. So where does that leave us with Tesla? It sounds like they will have the technical capability of providing bi-directional charging, but as the answer was short, we didn't get a lot of specifics on the various forms. Baglino also mentioned that there is more value in simply charging the car at the right time, rather than sending energy the other way. And this is true. While the dream of using millions of EVs as backup power for the grid is interesting, EVs can already help the grid just by charging at the right time when excess energy is available and by not charging at peaks. Baglino's answer showed that the technical capability is there, but Musk's answer showed that perhaps Tesla still thinks that customers might be too confused or resistant to the idea of losing a certain amount of control over their vehicle and home's energy usage that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.